me and my wife um, counted the first time when she was uh, 16 weeks pregnant and she experienced heavy bleed. Um, the hospital put us in a delivery suite because they said like um, Ezra would be born then and there. But thankfully we held on to 23 weeks. But at sadly that point um, Ezra passed away after surviving for three hours. After spending time with Ezra and then him passing, we had nowhere to go. Um, we knew he was on a delivery suite, so we just felt like we shouldn't stop in there because the room was needed for another woman. So I went home and didn't realise how I left the hospital because obviously the emotions were running high. But when I come back, I had to walk through the corridor seeing pregnant women and newborn babies and you know balloons and celebrations, but that just wasn't me. I really didn't want to go in, but I had to go in for my wife. And then, because it's back in the same room, everything just came. All well, the emotions came back, just Ezra being there, and then we had to take all this information from a uh, bereavement midwife, who was brilliant, but trying to process that information while being in that room was just horrible, because it's just a clinical setting. With the wooden house, you can't, you got time to just have a moment to think about it, to then take in the information and have the Made the, it's hard to say to make the best of the worst situation, but to actually come together with it, with the, the terms and the ideas that you know you won't be taking your child home. I mean, nothing's going to change the heartbreaking news, but to have that comfort of knowing that those last memories, those last memories that you have with your kid that are precious and they only can be made once. Having the woodland house would help that child's life and memories live forever in the best way possible. Woodland House will make just a difference for you and your family, for the families that have to go through it.